This video demonstrates how to simulate a pedestrian crossing in any logic. We will use the Road Traffic Library to model traffic and the Pedestrian Library to model pedestrians. Our task is to make the vehicles and the pedestrians interact. We will use the example model, which you can find in the AnyLogic Help. Navigate to Tutorials, Intersection, Phase 2, and click the link at the bottom of the page to open the reference model in AnyLogic Cloud. Download the model source files, extract them from the archive, and open the model in AnyLogic. Let us now mark the pedestrian space of the model. To simplify the drawing process, zoom in on the graphical diagram and disable the grid snapping by clicking the Enable Disable Grid Toolbar button. Switch to the Pedestrian Library palette. Double-click the Wall element and draw a wall around the pedestrian movement area. Since this wall virtually defines the pedestrian area borders, we do not want to see it at the model runtime. Make the wall invisible. Now, draw two target lines. We need them to define the pedestrian movement. Add the first target line. Pedestrians will enter the model here. Name it Target Line A. Then add the line that marks the destination for pedestrians and name it Target Line B. Pedestrians will leave the model here. Now we will create a new flowchart defining the pedestrian behavior. First, Add the PED source block, which will generate pedestrians. Next, add the PED go to block. We will use it to direct pedestrians to the other side of the road. End the flowchart with the PED sync block. Navigate to the properties of the PED source and set the target line A as the place where pedestrians appear in the system. For the PED go to block, Select the target line B as the pedestrian's destination. To observe pedestrians in 3D, we must first create a custom pedestrian type. Navigate to the properties of the PED source block, expand the pedestrian section, and click the Create a Custom Type link. The wizard will open. Name the new type Pedestrian. Choose its 3D model and click Finish. Now we are ready to run the model and have a closer look at the intersection. Everything's moving like it should, but the cars do not stop to let the pedestrians cross the street. It is obvious that we need a regulated pedestrian crossing. Switch back to Main. Navigate to the Road Traffic Library palette and place a stop line before the pedestrian crossing. A stop line will make the cars stop. Now it is time to add a traffic light which will control the traffic. You can place it anywhere you like. Its location does not affect anything. Navigate to its properties and set it to define the working mode for the stop line that we have just placed. There, we have placed a traffic light before the crossing. Now let's modify its phases. As you can see, there are just two phases by default. Add two yellow phases, adjust their order, and set the duration of the phases to 30, 7, 30, and 7 seconds. Run the model to observe the traffic with the working traffic light. The problem is that the pedestrians don't pay attention to the traffic light and cross the road even when the light is green for the cars. They are doomed to die no matter what. Let us save a few souls here. We can solve the problem by defining the pedestrian crossing area with the node element. We will allow pedestrians to enter the area only when the traffic light is red for traffic. Draw the pedestrian crossing area with the help of the polygonal node element of the pedestrian library's space markup section. To prevent certain pedestrians from squeezing between the drawn node borders and the wall, we will have to draw the node a bit bigger than the crossing. Name it crossing area and make it invisible at the model runtime. Now we will enable the programmatic control of the access to the node. In the Speed and Access Restriction section, select the Access Restriction property and set the Access Restricted By option to Call of Close Function. Navigate to the Traffic Light options. 
In the On Phase Change field of the Actions section, type Crossing Area Set Open Current Phase Index equals 2. This function will be called every time the traffic light changes its phase. If the specified condition is true, the pedestrians will be allowed to enter the crossing area. The condition checks the current phase of the traffic light accessible here as the local variable current phase index. We let the people go if the phase index equals 2. The phase number 2 corresponds to the red traffic light phase. For all the other phases, the expression will be false and the traffic light will close access to the area for pedestrians, preventing them from crossing the road. Let's run the model and enjoy the results. Looks like everything works fine. Each time the traffic light is red for the traffic, pedestrians safely cross the road. Thanks for watching. Come back for more AnyLogic How-To videos.